stop, disable and uncheck the services and settings which is not at all useful for most of us. By doing these, your computer will be faster, will not be using too much resources and the performance of your computer will be better. There are many settings which you will never use and there are so many things which you do not need in your brand new computer. So I'll tell you a few services, few things which you stop it right now. So do the right click in the start icon and then go to settings. And you always have an option to enable or disable, check or uncheck these services. So I'll just do a right click and I'll go to settings and then you will see a window like this. And the very first thing here is to go to privacy and security. This is the most important part. Now find my device. If you always carry your computer outside while traveling and everything, you can turn on find my device. But if your laptop or desktop always sits in your computer, I mean in your home, you do not take your laptop to anywhere else. I would recommend to just turn off find my device. All right, because if you turn it on any which way it will be using the resources always every time whenever you turn on the computer All right so this thing can be turned off and you always you can come here and turn it on if you're going outside you can turn on this find my device feature all right this is the first thing now the device encryption this is something i would not recommend to turn off you can let it turn on all right and here the very first thing is windows permission general advertising local content now you can see uh, let app apps show me personalized ads by using my advertising id i really do not need it i'll just turn off all these let website show me locally relevant content turn off let windows improve start results i will turn off turn it off so these are unnecessary things for most of us. There are hardly any people who will like these feature. So I will turn it off. You can always turn it on or if you want any of it, you can turn it on. So I will turn this off and then again, I'll go back from here and then I'll go to speech. If you want to use the online speech recognition, you can do that if you do not i use it so i have turned it on but if you do not you can turn it off so you are actually saving resources of the computer now inking and typing presentation customize inking and typing dictionary use my typing history if you want that you can turn it on so i will just keep it on and diagnostic and feedback now send required data now if you're using um high i mean costly expensive data like your mobile data or any um like usb tethering data then i would recommend to turn it off so i don't want to send any optional diagnostic data there are so many people who send but i do not need it so i will turn it off and if you wish you can turn it on so here as well, tailored experience, we view diagnostic data like that and feedback frequency. I do not want the feedback. I will turn it off. Now you can always come back here and you can turn it on. So this is for the educational purpose. All right. You always have an option to turn it on. All right. So I always turn it off. That's my preference. I'll come back the settings and here activity history store my activity history on this device i turn it off because uh i do not want because because there are people who sometimes use my computer and i do not want my i do not want to share my activity history with them even if they have a different user account so i'll come back here and then search permission uh safe search strict search uh, i would recommend to keep it moderate 
cloud content search i have turned it off it doesn't i mean i there are hardly any guy who require these searching windows respect power settings when index indexing this should be turned off and find my files i will keep it classic and enhanced will search your entire pc and may affect the battery life and cpu consumption so keep it classic all right then we have the location services and permissions so whatever the permissions i have not given the location services permission to any of these applications so you can also turn off because let's say if you're using skype or whatsapp or any other you don't want to share uh, the location you can always turn it off so in this manner you are saving lot of resources do the same thing for camera there are many apps which do not not require camera access you can turn it off do the same with microphone voice activation and notification this is also important notification access let app access your notification so you can turn off that's not a issue but i would recommend to turn it on because notification uh, is generally for the computer so you can keep it on and it is also turned on in my computer so these are the things which you should turn it off and few things should be turned on and i always recommend to check for updates and please ensure you also clean your computer now the next thing which we want is the storage sense which will automatically clean up the junk and uh cache from your computer so just type storage and then go to storage settings the best match and here you do not have to do anything you just need to turn on the storage sense now what it says automatically free up space delete temporary files and manage locally available cloud content so just keep it turn it on and you can also use uh the schedule like how often you want your uh storage sense to run i have done it weekly you can do it on on a daily basis but for me weekly is fine and delete files from my recycle bin you can keep it one day or 14 days that is up to you all right and you can also run the storage sense uh right away if you wish all right so these are the few settings which i would recommend if you have bought a new laptop if you have bought a new pc the desktop you can do these things update your windows and stop unnecessary services so that your overall accessing and you know browsing experience of your computer will be better and amazing so if you find this tutorial helpful please hit the like and subscribe I'll see you in the next video. Have a wonderful day.